He said, so what you saying? <laughs> now y'all, I'm so, I, I took my time and explained it to him as slow as I'm saying it to you. And he said, so what you saying? He didn't really want to hear the answer to that because before I could respond to that question, he shouted to me. So do you believe that Jesus died for your sins? Now, it was at this point that I saw the opportunity to assume the offensive. I want y'all to follow this message very well. Because up to this point, I had been on the defensive in the conversation. You got me? But when he asked me, do you believe? I just told him it's not a matter of belief with me. It's a matter of fact. Then I, then I, I just told him that. And he turned around and said, do you believe? So at this point, I assumed the offensive and I asked him. I said, brother, tell me something. Why do you have a need to believe that Jesus existed? I think that's really the first time I really asked somebody that question with such intensity. Because see, we were there, y'all. We, I mean, we were, we were right here. <laughs> And I said, brother, why? And I said it slow so he could die. See, when, when a person is at that point, they're not digesting what you're saying. So I said it slow. I said I, in a way that I knew he could absorb every word of my question. I said, brother, why do you have a need to believe that Jesus existed? What you mean? You see, the, you see his response to my question? He didn't answer my question. He asked me a question. What you mean? I, I wanted to say, I, I had to really discipline myself. I wanted to say at that point, stupid, what word did you understand? But I didn't want to offend him. Because I see, especially being a psychotherapist, I understand what's happening. And I'm going to break it down to you what happens in the mind of an individual when this happens. What you mean? So I repeated the question again, brother. Why do you have a need to believe that Jesus existed? Because he's our hope, man. Notice that, I mean, I mean he, now all stops are pulled out. No restraints at this point. I mean, if I had not handled myself properly, at this point, we could have really gotten to an all-out physical confrontation. Because he's our hope, man. At this point now, he's like this. Y'all grabbing what I'm saying? I mean, he's pacing, man. He went on to say, without him, we lost. Then he said it again, lost, man. Now, I know it seems funny, but brothers and sisters, that was a very tragic moment. For that brother. And understanding where he was at, it's, it's all, that was the point, y'all, where it's like right now I can take and give him a death blow. Boom. But that ain't what it's about. When he started pacing, 
It's like, man, without him, we lost, man. And then he said it again, real loud, lost. It was all in his body, man. And you know what I said? I said, brother, I understand, man. I understand what you're saying. Then he said it again, lost, man. I said, I hear you, bro. I said, man, listen, I got to go. I got to run. And this brother went back to his car, and I went to mine, and I'm broken in pain for his dedicated ignorance. He's on his way back to his car, wired, shaking, breathing. Hmm. That's why the title of today's message is The Truth is Unbelievable. Oh boy, talking to another listener from WBLR, brother by the name of Brother Gary Holland out of Indianapolis, and we talked about this situation about the truth being unbelievable. And actually, I got those words from him because he, he said, brother, the truth is unbelievable. And I said, man, that's heavy. I said, can I use that? He said, man, go ahead. I said, that's going to be my message, brother. Sunday, the truth is unbelievable. You see, brothers and sisters, repeat this after me. The truth, the truth. is that which is consistent with fact and reality. That's the definition of truth. That's not Webster's definition. That's not dictionary.com's definition. That's Ray Hagen's definition. I got the right to define, y'all. I got their documents that say I can do that. So here's my definition of the word truth. Once again, the truth is that which is consistent with fact and reality. The truth is not something that you believe. The truth is something that you know. Even in their Bible, in John 4, 24, it says, And you shall know the truth, not believe the truth. It says, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you. You free because you know it, not because you believe it. In other words, y'all, the truth cannot be believed. The truth is something that must be known. Grab that, y'all. I just got something there. Believe. The word lie is after the word be. So in order to believe, the lie has to be. Did that make sense? To believe, you have to believe the lie that be. Mm. The major reason why we don't know the truth. Let me calm down because I feel myself going there now. 
But I'm feeling this thing, man. The major reason why we don't 